Well, hey there. Welcome to the Kim Constable podcast. Nobody cares. Work harder. I have just completed what I actually think is my favorite interview of all time. And I know I've said that before, but actually this time I really mean it. And I'll tell you why I really mean it is because I have just interviewed Wim Hof, who is also known as the Iceman, who actually made me feel something I have not felt for a long time. And that is quite emotional whenever I spoke to another human being because I recognized in him a kindred spirit, but also because he is one of the most exceptional people that I have ever come across in my entire life. His energy is contagious. His, his enthusiasm is through the roof. He spent the whole time telling me he loved me and making heart symbols and, and you know, and thanking me and, and just, oh, I've, and, and also just sharing so candidly his own journey and his life. And I have been truly, truly touched by him in a way that I just genuinely did not expect. And Oh, I'm just reeling from the interview. He, at the end of it, like he said, you know, please, let's keep in touch. And we exchanged numbers and I've WhatsApped him and I brought my kids in to meet him because one of my boys does cold water therapy. He loves it. He's only 14 and he goes um, sea swimming, cold water sea swimming several times a week and does ice baths. And he really wanted to meet Wim. So he came in at the end and he had a full 15 minute conversation with my kids and gave them loads of advice. And I have never met anyone or have rarely met someone with such an open heart, someone with such a giving, wonderful, beautiful, generous, open heart. And I can honestly say that after today, I have been truly touched by the Iceman. And I cannot wait for you to listen to this interview. Now, before you go into the interview, I have a couple of things, a couple of housekeeping um, items to share with you. The first one is that we have a winner of a program in the podcast this week. As you know, everyone who responds to the email that we send out about the podcast um, telling us what they want to hear more of on the podcast goes into a draw to win a Sculpted Vegan program. And Miss Amy Brunt Thompson has chosen the 12 Day Holiday Shred. She wrote in with a, some wonderful suggestions about what she wanted to hear on the podcast. And she has won a Sculpted Vegan program this week. And it is the 12 Day Holiday Shred. Now, I have something even more exciting to tell you than that. Well done, Amy, by the way. The other thing that I have to tell you is during this podcast, Wim has challenged me, well, I kind of challenged myself to do a 40 second ice water ice bath immersion challenge that he has running on his Instagram at the minute. And the hashtag is freeze Hoff. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is I asked um, Wim, I was asking him for several tips because anyone who knows me knows that I fucking hate cold water. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. But after today, I'm actually sold on the idea of doing this regularly. And Wim did this beautiful 40 second talk through breathing technique. It actually was about two minutes because he, he prepped me or you listening to this, if you're going to do the challenge, which I hope you are. He prepped us for about 60 seconds before getting into the water and then he did a 40 second talk through of being in the water telling you exactly how to breathe and what to do and I hope that you are going to do this challenge with me and here is what I'm going to do to put some skin in the game if you do this challenge with me. I am going to give every single person and I talk about this in the podcast I'm going to give every single person who does Wim's 40 second ice bath challenge a free sculpted vegan program of your choice excluding the 18 month sculpt and shred so any other program of your choice for free if you do the ice bath challenge now here's what you have to do you have to film yourself or have someone film you doing the ice bath challenge then you have to post it on your instagram timeline not on your story on your instagram timeline and you have to tag wim hoff um, on Instagram and you have to tag me, the Sculpted Vegan. So once you have tagged both of us and you have put up your video of you doing the ice bath challenge, then we will see your tag. Or if we don't see your tag, you can just make doubly sure you can send me a DM or you can write into customer support and link to your video and show us the video. And then you can choose a Sculpted Vegan program of your choice and we will send it to you for free. So I'm putting some skin in the game because once you listen to this podcast and you realize the benefits of doing this and how it's going to change your life. I just want to incentivize you to make yourself uncomfortable and do it like I am going to. And I think that you're you're really, really, really going to love it. I'm hoping you're going to love it because I'm hoping I'm going to love it and I'm not thinking I'm going to love it right now, but I'm open to the fact that I might. 
I am also going to do my challenge live on Instagram and possibly on Facebook. And I am going to promote it out so everybody can watch me do it. And it's going to be the first time I have ever gotten into an ice bath. And I'm going to let you more know more about when I'm going to do that to give you plenty of advice note, advance notice so that you can join in and watch. So I'm going to let you go to the interview now um, with Wim. I hope that you enjoy it just as much as I do. And I'm going to talk to you again at the end. Wim Hof, this is an absolute joy and pleasure. My entire company has been on their edge, on the edge of their seats with excitement, knowing that you are coming on the podcast. Well, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You are a great woman, a mother being so uh, valiant, like a, a brave to go into the world, to make a, a, a great difference and bring sanity to the world. I love you. No, oh, you are so sweet. In a different way, I just make people go into the gym and lift heavy stuff to feel alive. But you, you ask them to get into cold water. I love yes, it. Yes, okay. absolutely. Warm, warm-hearted. I will advise every at at the ice uh, everybody to go into cold water, as there is. Uh, let's face it, in the world uh, right now, there is a, a spiritual pandemic called the darkness of depression. Yes. It's going on. People are full of fear, anxiety, confusion about what the future holds for them. I tell you, it's causing stress. Stress causes inflammation, which causes an imbalance in our brains of our hormonal uh, system, which is the endocrine system. And then we lack dopamine and noradrenaline and then uh, depression. Uh, uh, it's in. Yeah. Can I introduce you yes. to anybody who doesn't know you? So, I mean, your recent fame, well, not recent, but recently you have exploded into the, the limelight, if you like. So it, I think it means that you need little or no introduction, but just in case someone listening lives on another planet and doesn't know who you are, Wim Hof, born 20th of April, 1959, also known as the Iceman, is a Dutch motivational speaker, an extreme athlete noted for his ability to withstand freezing temperatures. You have He has set Guinness World Records for swimming under ice, prolonged full body contact with ice, and previously held the record for a barefoot half marathon on ice and snow. Wim climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in shorts, running a half marathon above the Arctic Circle barefoot and standing in a container while covered in ice cubes for more than 112 minutes. I can't believe that. Using cold, hard nature as his teacher, his extensive training has enabled him to learn to control his breathing, heart rate, and blood circulation and to withstand extreme temperatures. Wim has made it his mission to share what he's learned with the rest of the world and so developed the Wim Hof Method, a combination of breathing, cold therapy, and commitment that offers a range of benefits. This is my favorite part. Armed with his motto, what I am capable of, everybody can learn, Wim is convinced that everyone can tap into their inner potential without having to invest the same decades worth of study, travel and daring. You have achieved, there's so much there I could go into, but I think the biggest question probably on everyone's lips whenever they hear things like that is why? Why would you do all these crazy ass things? <laughs> like what, what is it that drives you? Why, why should someone do even a tenth of what you've done? Mm, yes, I did uh, quite some stuff, like 26 of those records, many more challenges in uh, the ice, in, the, in nature, uh, challenging body and mind, because I felt in the de depth of myself, there is more than meets the eye. And I challenged my body, following my intuition, following my instinct, and I found out that I'm capable of doing so much more than we think. And I showed that not only to the world through television, documentaries and uh, records, but also in science. Right now, uh, we have shown in science, in uh, competitive scientific research programs, how to battle inflammation. And if you think about inflammation, it's actually the cause and effect of any disease. Yes. We can control that much better than ever th uh, thought before in science. So I changed the paradigm by showing it in a competitive study. That means scientifically, beyond any speculation, delivering data by uh, being injected with a bacteria, which normally makes people very sick, 
And now those people I trained, and first I did it myself, showing that I wasn't become sick. And then I showed it with a group of people because they thought, he is the Iceman. He does all these challenges and these extremes. He's such a body control. He can control his immune system and all that. I said, no, what I can do, anybody can do. And I will show it. Give me a group of people, and they gave it. Uh, ultimately, they gave me a group of people. I trained them in four days. In four days, they were suddenly able, where in science, medical science and physiology was thought humans are not capable to go into the autonomic nervous system and the immune system. And then after four days, they ended up in the hospital receiving an injection with a, a E. coli bacteria, which makes you very sick for three to six hours. It's a controlled experiment. And these people, 100% score, all the 12 of them, after 16,000 and more people had done the same and all became sick, these 12 people did not become sick. So what I teach, I can teach anybody how to gain a much deeper control over your own system's insight to battle sickness, unhappiness, and having lack of energy. After doing this, what I will show you, uh, I'm talking to the viewer right now, uh, uh, you will have a, a much, you won't become sick. How is that possible? Wait, you cannot say this. Yeah, sorry, doesn't make money. I'm sorry, but if a person goes regularly, if we talk an island, hey man, you got a big sea around you. You got a lot of rivers. In the winter time, make of the winter a summer, and you will never become sick anymore. You go out there in a natural bodies of water, you embrace the cold, let it come over, and it makes your body from the inside so strong because it, it needs to oppose the icy water, the cold. Then from the inside, the body becomes really strong and it's all naturally there. So what I teach is very simple. Anybody can do it. The oldest person who is doing it right now is 100 years old. And she taught her sister as well. No. 98 years. That makes you all young people without an excuse. Right. Look for nature outside to get inside. And with that, we medically showed in science beyond speculation right. that we, with specific breathing techniques and cold water training, will uh, have an access to our deepest of our potential to become happy, strong, and healthy. Right. No here, doubt. Here is what I love about what you said, okay? And this is my biggest this is my biggest um, gripe, I guess, sometimes whenever people like you come out in the world and they and they do incredible things. And then people say, well, it's only one man and he's doing it and it's not applicable. But you took your method and you made it into a science. And in order for something to be a science, it has to be verifiable, measurable and reproducible. That is the biggest thing. You have to do the same thing in the same way and get the same results. And that's what classifies it as a science. And if it doesn't meet those three criteria, it's not. So you've actually taken what it is that you've been able to do in an extreme sense and turn that into something that is reproducible, which, which gets guaranteed proven results if you follow the system. And I think that is just remarkable because not very many people who do what you do make that jump into science. Was that always something you wanted to do or was that something that just happened because people saying like it wasn't possible, it was possible for you, but not for them? What caused that for you to go down that route? Well, I, uh, if you share, uh, uh, like for uh, 30 years, I've been ridiculed and, uh, and, and labeled as being crazy and an idiot. Don't uh, link with this person. He is crazy and an idiot. He goes into freezing water. Well, who does that? Uh, that for 30 years. And then, uh, uh, to me, it made me feel so good and so great without anything. Unconditionally, I was really happy, strong, and healthy. I, don't, I didn't need anything. I, I was I full of energy, always, never sick. 
That is what it gives. So after the 30 years, uh, I got uh, uh, connected to a newspaper. They, uh, they came, and from there, after uh, they uh, showed this in the, in the newspapers, the public edited, uh, uh, television came. And then from there, the ball began to roll because what I was capable of was a thought of impossible. And it was, yeah, man, going into water, swimming under the water, big distances, going a whole night out there in a short, in freezing temperatures and be cool, like cool, like uh, warm heartedly uh, in control while being in freezing temperatures. What is that? So they began to challenge, challenge, challenge. And then the scientists who also looked uh, in the night to television, they saw the, uh, documentaries of me doing all that stuff and, and uh, what in scientifically is considered to be impossible, physio physiologically to consider to be impossible, but this man is doing it. So mm -hmm. let's get on to him. Let's try him out. And they did that. And the first study I did was 80 minutes immersed in ice, and they took the blood. Uh, this uh, arm was out. I was in a container up till here in the ice for 80 minutes. They took the blood here out, uh, out of me, and they had me monitored throughout, temperature pill inside to uh, measure my core body temperature and all. And then uh, they took that blood and they exposed that blood outside in laboratory uh, setting to a E. coli virus, which normally makes an aggressive reaction on the immune cells in the blood serum. In my blood serum, for the first time, they saw zero reaction. Wow. That means that the body is innately capacitated to bring down virus or inflammation to zero. That right. is an innate capacity which should be much more investigated and researched. But yes. it doesn't make money. It doesn't make money. Big and Pharma can't profit from it. Right, right. We're on the same page that, on that, that one, let me that tell it you. Is. Yes. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not anti or pro. I'm not into politics. I got a great message to the world. We are built to be happy, strong, and healthy. And with happy, I mean to have a great, much greater control over our hormonal system. The darkness causing depression is a lack of certain kinds of hormones we can feel any day. Mm -hmm. Any day, guys. So look into this and try it out. If it doesn't work, then you shame on you, Wim. But I will tell you, feeling is understanding. You do it once. You are hooked. Um, I, I have a confession. I have a confession to make. Okay. <laughs> so I would. This is why. So see, whenever my family heard that you were coming on my podcast, my husband and my son, who I told you, they go cold water swimming um, several times a week. They love it. They were like. <laughs> <laughs> and then your son, he wrote to me on Instagram and he said, we would love it if you would do the, you know, the, the freeze half challenge, 40 seconds of water. And I was like, <laughs> and my, my husband has been like, this is the best. He was like, let me get the bath. Let me get the ice. Like he is so into this, but I'll tell you why, because <laughs> I, I, this is why I was dying. I kind of dying, not dying to talk to you about it, but I, I am, I am a bodybuilder. Okay. And I have put myself under pretty extreme conditions. Like I can squat 220 kilos, which is about 400 pounds or more 450 pounds. I, I, yeah. So I, like I do hard stuff. I had, I had home births with my children, no drugs, no nothing. I just popped them out in the bedroom. So, you know, I'm the kind of person wow. who I'm not afraid of doing hard things, but see when it comes to getting into cold water, I don't even swim in the pool <laughs> on, on vacation. I hate it. And when I say hate, I mean, I detest it. And so up until now, everyone around the world has been, you know, following Wim Hof and the Wim Hof method. And everyone's been coming to me going, Kim, you're going to love this. You're such an extreme person. You built this big company. You home birthed your kids. Like we homeschool our kids as well. We never, we don't actually school them. We just let them be free. So everything I do is hard. Everything in my life, I choose the hardest path. But when it comes to ice, but I'm going to tell you, okay, wow. I, I'm going to do your challenge and I'm going to do it live on Instagram so the world can watch me, but it absolutely terrifies oh, me. Wow. So I want you to make me feel better about it. Like convince me, why should I do it? Okay. I'm like, I need a little bit of, I need a pep talk. Wim, can you do it for me? Can you give me a pep talk? 
Yeah, come on. If you can uh, uh, home birth your children and even school them at home while doing your work, come on. <laughs> uh, once again, the oldest lady is 100 years. She's loving it. 90 <laughs> years old, 94 years old, 88, and with all kinds of ailments, it's all come, uh, gone. What I say to you is, the best investment you can make for your uh, uh, for your future is not money; it's your health. Right. And this, anybody who is doing regular icy baths, icy baths, or natural bodies of uh, 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 water outside when winter is coming, hey, let's go into the sea and all. They don't become sick no more. Mm-hmm. That you are a mother, you should serve your uh, children with. Happiness with all the energy and with health. And you got it with this. You are very capable of using your focus now and to go past your concept that cold water is so... (gasps) That is just a concept. You are fighting you yourself. Step over it. Get into the initial stressful state wherein the body is shocked it doesn't know what is happening but very soon your body is beginning to work from inside and then the core body temperature the vascular system which is hundred thousand kilometers in every person is going to work for you and then when, when that happens your performance you will see will become even better yeah. You see, I think that's that, that's the excuse I give myself because I'm a highly motivated, highly like I, I run a big company. I ride horses professionally. I homeschool my kids. I'm a professional bodybuilder. Like I have my day from I wake up in the morning till I go to bed is I fit more into one day than most people fit into an entire week. And so I'm like, I don't need the cold. Like, why would I make myself more uncomfortable? I'm uncomfortable every day of my life purposely. Why would I make myself more uncomfortable? These are the excuses I give myself because I just don't want to do it. So, but I am going to, and I know that probably when I do it, I'll just, I'll enjoy it and I'll, but does it ever get any easier? Do you ever, does it get any easier? Do you still have that feeling like I don't want to do this before you do it? I mean, it's 45 years. I never skipped a day. I'm really hooked on it. And I, I feel that the cold is such a mysterious being, such a mysterious power that it, 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 it activates within me. I'm not, I, I, I don't like the cold, but I like the feeling what it brings. It brings a power. It makes my energy go sky high. I got also, I recognize your words. I do. Uh, I also do weight training. Mm-hmm. I do splits. I'm 62. I do splits like a ballerina. Yeah. You, why is that? Because my blood flow, blood flow is like oil, uh, uh, and all the joints. Uh, I'm as flexible as a young ballerina. I can show you here right now. I've seen some yeah, of your I'm, Instagram stuff, you know, with you doing, because I'm a yoga teacher as well. So I, I've seen you doing some of the yoga poses, which, you know, which is incredible. You do have incredible flexibility, even sitting in, you know, in full lotus position, you know, with your, your legs. Like most, most people don't have the hip flexibility oh, yes. or the foot flexibility to sit in. You know, it's, it's actually the feet that stop people from getting into full lotus rather than the hips because they your feet seize up because too many people spend time in shoes. I spend most of my day barefoot. But most people spend too much time in shoes. The, the toes don't get to Very spread, good. and the, you know, it's your feet get all seized yes. up, and and so um, yeah, I've seen what I've seen what you can do, and I've seen what you're capable of, and I guess it's you know, but it seems like you're really driven to help people to to explore more of their potential, to live more, to be more, to have more. Like, where does that come from? How did you become this way? After, I had it always, actually, and I think it is my mother who caused that. Uh, it, 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 it sounds like a strange story, but it's real. When I was born, one of the twins, I was the last one coming out, but uh, 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 nobody knew there was another one inside. I was almost too long in the womb, and, and uh, I came out of the womb, uh, uh, in the cold of the hall in front of the operation room because I was just too deep in and too long. Nice. So I, I almost suffocated. I came a, 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 in a hallway somewhere, pushed by my mother with the worst 
Oh God, let this child live and we'll make him a missionary. She was a pious woman full of belief, but also full of fear at that moment. That is the way I came to the world. Right. And I think that tattooed upon my being without me knowing it. Yes. And that made me different during my life with my identical twin brother. And I, I, I just began to do these things. And then I found when I was 17, uh, after uh, a long thought, many books I had read, uh, read about philosophy, es esoteric disciplines, uh, all, all kinds of things I did. And that uh, it made me a thinker, debater uh, uh, all the time. It's like the, uh, the, the chatterbox was on all the time. But then I found the cold water and it attracted me. I just went in and I felt connection. That you is jumped the into a canal, didn't you? You jumped into water. a canal, didn't you? You jumped into a, what was it called? Beatrix yes. Park Canal whenever you were 17. What, what made you jump? Just an irrational attraction going in. And that's uh, uh, since then, I've been doing it for 45 years because it feels so good. Mm -hmm. That it was exactly what I was looking for. A deeper connection with my physiology. More than what we think. Because all what we think is always into comfort. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, but when you go into uh, uh, slightly into discomfort, then afterwards you feel so out of your containment, yeah. out of your prison, out of your thinking borders, conditioned mind. You yeah. feel simply that feeling of being. It's like when you are in love, you have a, 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 the sense is bigger than your conditioned mind is able to control. That's why it feels so good. Right. And so I feel that, I felt that with the cold and, uh, and that energy flow has never gone away. And now, uh, uh, Kim, I want to change the world. And I will do that within two years. Mm -hmm. I will show that. I think the, you have already. I, I, I think show. you have changed the world on how they think about cold water already. I wouldn't, everyone who I've said to, I have Wim Hof on the podcast, everyone from my housekeeper to like my children's friends, they're all going, oh my God, really? Really? Like we're in Belfast I mean, in Northern yeah. Ireland. Yeah. They all know who wow. you are. Everyone knows who you are. It's it's incredible. How, how you beautiful have. is that? Yeah. Wow, that that is nice. That is great. And eyes, wise eyes. You know, I, I I want to bring autonomy to every person in the world as a non dogmatic choice. If you want autonomy, that means much deeper control over what nature has given you to become happy, strong, and healthy. We got all the tools inside. Only we are disconnected through the wrong paradigm, through a wrong schooling. We think career is uh, so important and uh, make money and more money and power. And uh, 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 But I think happiness, strength and health, that is the most important. And it should be taught uh, from uh, uh, primary school on because children are not stupid. They uh, And people are not stupid, but stupefied. Mm -hmm. And uh, once they begin to shake up by going into cold water, uh, 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 you begin to wake up to your inner flow of energy and all the systems suddenly begin to work. The adrenal axis spikes and you uh, 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 suddenly feel a, a much deeper uh, 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 a much deeper energy flow, uh, and it's coming to you. Uh, there you are. And uh, that will bring happiness, strength, and health. And it, uh, it's unconditional. Does it need money? It's there. And that mm -hmm. is what I wish for every person in the world, because we have gone a bit too far into exploiting the world and uh, uh, saying that uh, careers is what makes you happy and all that. What if you get the sack? Mm -hmm. Well, if you have learned how to be happy, strong, and healthy unconditionally, you get the sack, you are still happy, strong, and healthy. Right. And then you will find something else. But now we lost that connection. And that, and now I, 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 I'm going to do the BBC series. I'm going to do the Hollywood film. It's in the making all. So uh, I, I want to reach the billions of people and reach people through their heart. Yeah. That's what Aries do. You know, yeah. they ran through. There is a way 
into you that makes you able to take part of your deeper potential the way nature meant it to be. And it's great. Every day you get all the energy, all the health and all the happiness. It's all there. And that is what I want to give my children as well. It's hard to listen to you and not believe you. I have to say, you know, your energy is contagious. Your enthusiasm is contagious. It's hard to listen to you and not smile and not go, okay, yeah, I'm sold. I, I, I believe him. You know, it's, it's, uh, I used to do sales years ago. I used to, and people used to say, um, I used to sell these training programs and people used to arrive at the training programs and introduce them on the first day. And they used to say, I have no idea what this is, but Kim just was like, so I just loved her when I met her and she just kind of talked <laughs> me into it. I don't even know why I'm here, but I'm here because she was so great. And I just want whatever she has. It's amazing how, when you have that passion <laughs> and you have that enthusiasm, you, you bring people along with you. And I think that is part of your, I think that is part of what makes you so unique. It's not like like you're, you know, just a guy getting into cold water, you know, you, you're the very embodiment of what you live. I, I always say that when you, when a lot of people have, have a belief about something, but they don't, their behavior doesn't match their belief. So like, I believe that lying is bad, but yet I lie all the time. So, but you're someone who is integrated, someone who is whole, a whole person. I, I always say that their behavior matches their beliefs. And when your behavior matches your beliefs, what, how you think you act and how you act, you think, that it makes you whole, it makes you joyful, it makes you happy. And that's what I think when I look at you. So you've convinced me to get into cold water now. I think that this is something that that I'm definitely going to have to do live on Instagram just to prove that I did it. But I have another question about getting into cold water. So when I do something extreme, yeah. when I was giving birth, okay, I give birth upstairs. And this is what I kind of would liken it to. When I was giving birth in my bedroom, I had midwives, just two midwives with me. And I, with every contraction, whenever you go through a very, very intense contraction, it's the the way I try to describe birth to people is, have you ever stubbed your toe so badly that for a second, or you hit your funny bone on your elbow, or or you whack a body part, and for a minute or two, the pain is so intense. You can't think, you can't talk. Someone's going, are you okay? Okay. And you're like, you know, you're waving at them. Don't talk to me for a second because you're focused on the pain. I said, that's what giving birth is like for a minute or two. You are so intense with this contraction in your body that you can't focus on the external world. And so when that happened for me, I was using a lot of yoga breathing, but I was, I was dancing during contractions. I was holding onto my back and I was like, I was groaning and dancing and singing and swaying and any way I could move my body to get (laughs) through the contraction. And it was a beautiful experience actually. Is that what getting into cold water is like? Like, can I swear and scream and chant and do all kinds of crazy shit? Or do I have to sit there? And I see people do it and they're like breathing and talking and they're quiet. And I'm like, I don't think that's going to be me. I think I'm going to be the swearing, you know, like swaying, chanting kind of person. I love to to hear some Irish swearing. I love that. I think (laughs) I swear a lot on this podcast. Music coming from the depth. But uh, uh, today you're going to focus on your breathing. Okay. Long out breaths. It's like uh, 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 there is a lot of breathing also involved, and with that control while the contractions are going on. Yes. <sighs> yes. Then when you hold, you are able to control muscle action inside on the hold. And uh, that's what you could do now in the icy water, just long out breaths and follow the out breath. Then your body is able from the inside to do what the body should do without you intervening. Okay. That's what I did when I was giving birth. Yes. Yeah. Great. Same thing here. So same thing. So I would actually control my out breath for about two minutes. I because of because I practiced yoga for a long time and I teach yoga, I I would have taken a really big inhale and then I would have controlled the exhale for about two minutes during the contraction. So my midwife kept saying, Stop holding your breath, don't hold your breath. I'm like, I'm not fucking holding my breath. I'm breathing out. But I was breathing out so long and slow for about two minutes that it was controlling the pain. It's it is it the similar thing with the water? Yes. Yes. Oh, right. If you are, if you're gonna go, when you go in, be focused just before is saying the attention. I want to stay with the breath. Mm-hmm. Then whatever is happening with the body, uh, uh, the, the impact of the icy water will come. It will come, no, no doubt, of course. But your power will stay. Uh, your energy will stay with the breath, and with that, 
the body is very fast able to adapt. Okay. And that is what you're going to feel. That is control. Right. So it's the intention so, first, setting the intention and yes. then being focused. And I guess that becomes easier. Okay. A little introduction is here. 40 seconds into icy water. While being in the icy water, don't worry. Just follow the breath. What we do before we go into the water, we set our intention. I want to stay with the breath all the way at 40 seconds. I am in control through being within the breath, full length, 40 seconds. I can do it in several ways. While I'm going in, I follow the breath consciously, but... I, 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 I breathe more than normally uh, audible, so I can hear my own breath. And I follow that pattern while going in. Okay, so this is while before going in. going in. This is before going in and now then going in. Is that Yes. It? Okay. Then when you have decided, now I'm okay, I'm going in, I've decided to go in, I go in. I take a breath. While you go in, you have your breath full and you let it go slowly while immersing into the water. And once you are seated, you take another deep breath and let it go. And another breath fully in. Letting go. And you're going great. While you do this, you can see that your body is adapting to the icy water. And fully in. And letting go. And you are done. And there you are. Now you have found a way to deal with deep stress. Just by following your breath. And you can use it in any other situation and you will see you have hit it on the stress mechanisms in the deep brain more than ever before that's you in 40 seconds you can learn it and use the cold as a mirror beautiful that was the actually the fastest 40 seconds ever <laughs> i was like i was i was actually upset uh -huh. when it was over because i was enjoying the breathing it was right. That is amazing. Yeah. You've literally just transformed. You've just given like all of our listeners and everywhere we put this out to a technique that they can play every day if needs be. Start with 40 seconds and build up over time once you, you know, your your resilience becomes stronger. But the, the deep breathing accesses the parasympathetic nervous system, doesn't it? And which just slows the body down, it, the parasympathetic rest and digest. Yes, it does. Uh, it, it does uh, both, and the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, and with oh, that oh, yes, you learn course. to have a neurological. You have a neurological better control over those deep autonomic uh, systems of the nervous system, which is the parasympathetic, which is for rehabilitation, regeneration, and the repair and healing, and the other one is for full action. To right. confront yourself and fight and flight and to be just on. But both the systems, you get a much better control through the breathing, follow the breathing, go into the stressful exercise, the hormetic exercising by going into icy water, and you learn to have a control over the autonomic nervous system. And that relates directly, automatically to all kinds of other systems like endocrine system, which is the hormonal system, lymphatic system, to the cardiovascular system, to uh, uh, any system actually in the depth of ours, we are suddenly gain control. And that's amazing. The cold is a great teacher. It brings our cardiovascular system uh, uh, simultaneously uh, uh, to, to the best uh, uh, optimization by which Killer number one in our society is cardiovascular related diseases. We tackle it just by going into cold water. And you will hear it of people going into cold water on a regular basis. They just don't become sick no more. So what is that? 
That is your deeper potential. That is the way we are naturally built. But for that, we have to go through the initial stressful uh, uh, exercise uh, of going past our conditioning of our body to go into the depths of ours, which is ours. You and then you feel amazing. so great. You're amazing. You know, you've actually, I've just had several integrations listening to you, I guess, because one of the things I used to teach when I taught, when I used to teach yoga to big classes was I used to teach about accessing the parasympathetic nervous system and how I used to, and the, the story I always used to use was I didn't realize, um, I didn't realize the power of using that and how it would transcend into other areas of your life until I was very, my kids were very, very young. And I was driving in the car one day. I had all four kids. I had four kids under the age of six. And so one of them started, the baby was started, was crying and someone else was trying to shush her. And then the other two started having a fight and I'm driving along on the freeway and I can't on the you know motorway over here. And I can't, I can't stop. There's nothing I can do to comfort anyone. Cause I'm on a, you know, I can't even pull over. And there was screaming and, and I'm like, guys, be quiet guys. Shh. And I'm trying to, you know, but I have to concentrate on what I'm doing. And at one point I became, I realized there was nothing I could do. I was just going to have to let them cry. And after about 30 seconds, I realized I was Ujjayi breathing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't actually mean to do it. I was. And I realized that through my yoga training, putting myself in stressful situations in the yoga heart, in your hard yoga poses, and then accessing the breath in that stressful situation had programmed my body to kick into Ujjayi breath in a stressful situation. And in that moment, I was like, oh my God, this is a life skill. This is a Pavlovian link I've built in my body now that, that I can use in any stressful situation to access the parasympathetic nervous system and calm myself down and deal with it more effectively. And that shift was enormous for me when I realized that. And that's what you do with cold water. It's similar, but it's it teaches you to deal not only no, with, it sick, but it with stressful situations in your life. You become stronger mentally, physically, emotionally. You become more more capable of fulfilling your inner potential. I think I'm having all these these awarenesses while we're talking. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, absolutely. It's it, it will be the future. We're in hormetic exercising that is self-inflicted acute stressful exercise activity, like going into the cold water. I hate cold water, but the feeling that derives from it is amazing. And then uh, because I feel amazing always, I love the cold I water. I hate the gym, it's but I feel amazing after the gym. Friend. So I do it every day, like I yeah. train every day, but I exactly. hate the gym but I love the feeling I get after I've trained really, really hard. It's horrible. Like I, I hate it with a passion, but I do it every week because not doing it is harder than doing it. Exactly. So uh, the, the cold water, really, that will wake up the world of where it's gotten into right now with all the fear and all the uh, confusion. It will bring people in the, in the confidence that they are able to be in the eye of the hurricane. You know, the stress is going on, the children are there, you have to focus on the road, and everybody has moments like this. But nobody knows to, how to stay in the eye of the hurricane, to be and to stay the observer. But to, by going into the cold water, it is you who is going into a stressful exercise by which neurologically you make a connection, deep connection, a neural connection with the stress mechanisms inside. And you become and you learn to be an observer with any kind of stress that comes to you. And that is amazing. The cold is a beautiful teacher how to deal with deep, deep stress and stay calm. Amazing. Besides of that, the cardiovascular system, which is run by millions of little muscles, is optimally uh, exercised by going into the cold water. That means uh, uh, the, the, the blood flow will go much better through the body in a daily life, which creates much better transport of oxygen, nutrients, vitamins to our cells, means a lot more energy. And you know what? 30 like 30 uh, beats per minute of our heartbeat will go down because mm -hmm. our stress is caused by too much accelerated sympathetic nervous system activity through incoming stress all from all sides. And that accelerates our heart rate 
and that produces cortisol to be present all the day. And that's why we feel so anxious. That, uh, that, uh, uh. Now, after doing the cold training, the blood flow runs much better through the body and the heart doesn't need to pump as much. So the trigger for the, uh, uh, to, to activate cortisol in the liver will fall away with that distress uh, within your life. It is amazing how simple it is, but you got to do it and just try it out. And if it doesn't work, hate me for what I've said until now, but you're going to love me because the cold is amazing. Well, tell us before we go, we didn't actually talk about your freeze half challenge that you have on Instagram. So tell us a little bit more about it. You want people to go into water for 40 seconds and then nominate five people. Is that the basis of the challenge? Yes, absolutely. And that is, there is a spiritual pandemic going on, the darkness of depression. Now, depression is where noradrenaline and, uh, and um, uh, dopamine are lacking. Mm -hmm. These are uh, crucial, uh, essential factors that causes the depression. That's a hormonal imbalance in our brain uh, of dopamine and noradrenaline. And by going into the cold, you learn to deal with the stress directly. And uh, it is so much that the noradrenaline kicks in with 540%. And uh, the dopamine kicks in with 250%. Imagine, imagine that in the people who have a depression. It, they instantly, within a minute, they feel like, wow, oh, wow, shit, I feel good. Yeah, man, that, that is this challenge all about. It's not only challenging you, yourself, to go into a stressful situation. This is also a challenge where we will come up with the light and chase away the darkness of depression. And we wish that for five others every time to cover as much people in the world, to bring light and to chase away the darkness. It is scientific, but it is also spiritual. Yes. We bring it to the people this way. And I thank you, Kim, that you do this because you're a powerful woman. You're spreading your love. You're spreading your knowledge. Uh, you are a, a mother of four. You are amazing. Because you are at the cornerstone of the uh, universe. Like many other mothers, they are the cornerstones of the universe. And we have the purpose to bring light. And that's what we do with this 40 seconds uh, 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 challenge for mental awareness. It's more than mental awareness. It's the light itself we bring. We love life. We love you. Well, I'm going to throw some skin in the game, okay? I am going to um, I'm going to raise you, and I'm going to say that every single person listening to this, and we get over a quarter of a million downloads a month, so there you are. So I'm going to say that every single person listening to this, if you post your um, video on Instagram and you tag Wim and you tag, you use the, the hashtag freeze Hoff, isn't that what it is, freeze Hoff? is the hashtag yes. um, and you tag me and tag Wim, I am then I'm going to send, I'm going to gift every single person who does this challenge and tags you and tags me a sculpted vegan program of their choice. So they can, we have, we wow. have 20, 25 programs on our website. They're all ranging from one week to, to 12 weeks, I think is the longest one. And I'm going to gift a program to every single person who posts it, but you have to post it on Instagram. You have to tag me. So we see it. And if we see it on Instagram, we're just going to send you that program instantly. And we're going to spread the message and I'm going to get in the ice bath this weekend. And I'm going to lead the way and do it first. How's that? Great. Love it. Just to put Thank more you, extra Kim. skin in the game. You're welcome. You're this is great. I'm really, really loving it. I'm loving it. Honestly, you have been an absolute joy. I have just loved I had this whole list of questions, but I didn't need to ask them to you because you were such an incredible guest. I think I could talk to you for hours. And I think that if we live closer, we would definitely be friends. So I'm really hoping that we will meet in person one day. That will be a joy for me. But you might make me jump off a very high. I've seen I've seen you making people jump off high things at 7 a.m. into freezing cold water. I might need a little um, yes. training first to be able to do that. <laughs> but. Oh, uh, you are an inspiration. And uh, if I can add a little bit more to your life, I'm most happy 
You have you Thank have you. filled me with so much joy today. Uh, you've no idea. I'm leaving this podcast smiling and happy, and I'm always smiling and happy. But I feel smiling or more smiley and more happy from having uh, having met you today. I thank you so much for your time, Wim. I'm gonna um, we're actually gonna put this podcast out tomorrow because we want to promote your challenge immediately. So this is gonna go straight to editing. It's gonna go out tomorrow. We want everybody to start posting their videos on the weekend and all next week. You can win a sculpted vegan program if you post the video. Tag Wim. Tag me. Um, we're going to send you a program of your choice and we're going to get the message out there and you're going to see me much more on Instagram when I'm going to be tagging you with my daily ice baths. All the love. All yes, the love thank to you. you. Yeah, you're great. All you're the love. Amazing. All the power. Perfect. Thank you so much, Wim. You've been an absolute joy. Well, wasn't that the most incredible interview. Tell me that you loved it as much as I did. I actually cut Wim off at the end there because there was a bit of a pause in the um, audio and I didn't realize that he was going to say goodbye and thank you. And so I'd already pressed stop on the recording because I didn't want there to be a long silence. So just so you know, he actually said, you know, goodbye and thank you at the end there, but I just didn't catch it in the recording. But oh, wasn't he just wonderful? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel as inspired as I feel to do this challenge? I really, really hope that you do because I really want to raise awareness both for Wim um, and his, you know, actually this challenge is in, in honor of his wife who committed suicide. We didn't even talk about that in the podcast, but she jumped from an eight story building window and committed suicide um, and left him with four young children whenever um, it was many years ago, 20 years ago, I think. And that is that's part of the reason why he does what he does, because he realized that when he's in ice, his mind is not taking over. And it was what helped him to conquer the depression and the darkness that came after she committed suicide. So in honor of that, I really hope that you will join me in doing this challenge and that you will tag both me and Wim on Instagram. And then you can write into customer service support at the sculpted vegan dot com or you can tag me on Instagram, or send me a DM, send me a link to your video. I will reshare it on my Instagram page and every single person who does it, who tags me, um, gets to win a Sculpted Vegan program of your choice. And you can gift it to someone if you want coming up to Christmas. Um, my gift to you for saying thank you for participating. So thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I hope that you loved it as much as I did. Um, and I will speak to you next week for another episode of the Kim Constable podcast. Have a wonderful week wherever you are. And I will talk to you very soon. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>